was started early this morning, it seemed it was going to be just another peaceful demonstration against air and water pollution. The signs the young people carried read, Goo, and Keep Our Skies Blue. There was good cheer, orderly picketing, and no reason for trouble, except that this chemical plant at 3102 South Broad Street was the Hampton Chemical Company, and prominent among the pickets was Cynthia Hampton, daughter of the company's president. The riot, apparently triggered by Miss Hampton herself, a name not unknown in student protest and activist circles, began when the car of a plant executive tried to cross the picket line. Miss Hampton, usually a peaceful demonstrator, in the melee struck a uniformed officer of the law, then escaped. Cynthia Hampton, daughter of Harvey Hampton, millionaire industrialist, land developer, civic leader, is now at large and wanted by the police. Tyler's office. Yes, sir. His Majesty calls. Tell him I'm busy. Tell, tell him myself. Keep up the good work, my dear. Come in. Morning, Paul. Good morning, sir. What do you know about Cynthia Hampton? Yeah, out of sight. The police are looking for her. I know. I saw the thing earlier. What I saw, I liked. How about the idea behind the girl? Uh, what makes Cynthia Hampton tick? Close enough. I thought it'd be a good idea if uh, you could find her and do an... In-depth profile. I spent a week with Cynthia Hampton. A day would be enough. No, never. You've got it. What? The assignment. I kind of hoped that was it. I put Peggy on it an hour ago. Maybe somebody saw her run, so it's called Finding Cynthia. She's checking the police and the TV newsmen that were there. And, uh, you know, tipsters, uh, people at the plant. Cool. How do I know how you should know? Just spread the word around or something. You can reach me here at People Magazine, okay? Anything? Nothing. Well, stay in touch. I'm going to the gym to work out. Why? What'd you do last night? Work out. A strange fugitive from justice indeed is Cynthia Hampton, sportswoman, conservationist, graduate student, activist, heiress. Cynthia Hampton, local president of Friends of the Earth, member of the Help Alcatraz Indians, participant in the many demonstrations and sit-ins throughout the year, is today Give me by the police, charged with assaulting an officer and Hampton security. Threats. The beautiful oh. heiress to the Hampton Millions, the boss. who is 28 years old, is five feet six and yes, sir, Mr. Hampton. Yes, sir, we have it on right now. Hampton was wearing a calico shirt, yes, sir. Fringed vest mm -hmm. and bell bottoms. Yeah, don't worry about it, sir. We'll find her. Had no statement at right. the hour, but has said an interview Very will well, be sir. forthcoming. Some dame, huh? Slugs a cop right in the gut. Dames are getting to be too much nowadays. They got too much energy. Seems like they get plugged into their automatic toasters every morning. Pop up, roaring to go. All burned up. 
Yeah, that's it. All burned up and out after us. Well, George, just don't get married. See, that's the answer to that. Oh, I like marriage. I've been married three times. <clears throat> Sorry, I didn't know. It's like gambling. You just might win. I wish I was a famous journalist like you, but uh, today I do. Uh, Les, how come you never can come out with anything straight? You have to be around the bush forever. It's a suspense. It's oh. all in the telling of the story. You, you should ought to know that. Well, I've had enough suspense and storytelling for one day. What do you got? The Hampton Girl. And it's expensive. How much? A thousand clams. <laughs> a grand? Yeah. Get out of here. Well, come on, this is you know, everybody's looking for her. Father, old man, and the police, security men, you know? You, well, why don't you go to them, the security men? Because they got that kind of money. I'd rather do business with a gentleman. Or if you were really straight and a good citizen, you'd go to the cops, because they're looking for her, too, you know. The fuzz. They don't pay that kind of bread, you know. Well, that's true, but I don't either, because I haven't got it. Look, this is bigger than you the Pulitzer Prize. The what? The Pulitzer Prize. Oh, you're that, the only one yeah. that knows where she is in town, and... And you, you'll be made. Your story will go into the People's Magazine. Do you think so? You win the Pulitzer Prize, yeah. That would be groovy. But how do you know, though, where she is? Oh, no better than to ask me that. Well, that's true. Les, well, I'm sorry. I tell you what, I'll go a chance on you for, um, 300. 300? This is worth 50 grand on every newsstand. What? Yeah, but I don't get any of that money. You know, that doesn't come to me. That goes to the magazine. So I tell you what, I'll go 350 and that's it, not a penny higher. Oh, take it or leave it. I'll take it. Good. Small bills. Small? Yeah. Small ones. Tens, twenties. Some ones? A few fives. Now, you take this to the cashier. Yes, I, I know, I know. Look, uh, she's out in the old ballroom in Ocean Park on the pier, see? That's all boarded up. It's being torn down. It's an excellent place to hide. Now, you can enter through a place that uh, says pavilion, right? Less. She better be there. Well, when she was there a half hour ago. I saw her with my very own eyes, all by her lonesome.
want? Nothing. I was here first. What are you doing here? Goofing off. Do you live here or what? <laughs> Sit down. Stay put. Is somebody chasing you? Cut. Relax. You're not my type. Too tall. What do you rob? Houses, mostly. I rob from the rich and give to the poor. Me. Yeah, like a store, a gas station, if I get bored. Drugs, huh? Drug stores? Yeah, a couple times. No, I mean, uh, for drugs and, you know, narcotics, huh? No, man, just for the money. You're old-fashioned. <laughs> You take dope? No. No, not me. No, what I meant was uh, the people that I've heard of who rob do it because they're hooked on drugs and they need money for more stuff. That's all. No. Just for the money. Well, that's refreshing. <laughs> refreshing? What kind of word is that, refreshing? You must have some sort of education. Some sort. They're chasing me, too. The cops. What'd you do? I slugged one. It was beautiful. You can get in a lot of trouble slugging cops. I never hit a cop in my life. No percentage in it. Well, I think there's a percentage in it. When they start pushing you around. What are the cops pushing you around for? I stood up for my rights. Oh, you one of those dumb kids running around waving posters. Yes. No! We're not dumb! We're asking a lot of questions. We're not just accepting the world the way you people always did. What questions? Like, is the dollar all that almighty? Yeah, if you haven't got one. No, that's not what I mean. This world is over-materialized, over-mechanized. We're fouling our nest. Do you realize that this whole planet is like a turnip now? There's no blood left in it. We sucked it all out. Well, I got some turnips. We've got to stop this country's industrial arrogance. Oh, you mean, uh, cut down on the job? When well, everybody's out of work, what are they supposed to do? There are other types of jobs. Yeah, like what, stringing beads? Look, there are just too many people in this world. Oh. Well, then what? You're demonstrating to get rid of some of the people? No. No. We're demonstrating for a better environment. Do you realize that in 10 years, this entire planet is going to be an asphalt ball? Asphalt. Level, covered with asphalt. Super ball. Yeah, huh? So? So? So it'll be covered. Crawling with flies. That's you and I. We're the flies. Scorching under a hothouse dome of smoke. Well, what? You're gonna change all this by marching around and carrying signs and punching out cops? Yes. No. Why am I talking to you? I don't know, lady. I'm just a dumb, uh, second story man. That's right. I couldn't possibly expect you to understand the gravity of the situation. Gotta make a phone call. Your lawyer? No, a friend. My boyfriend. No, she hasn't called. I don't know where she is. Listen, fella. Our boss, Mr. Hampton, is her dad. Huh? And when he says to find her, we find her. Understand? 
security office of the Hampton plant. We're in and out, so leave word. Come on. Maybe you should have told him where she is, Pete. To tell the truth, man, I haven't heard from her. Well, when's she supposed to call? One o'clock. All right, what's bugging you? Well, man, she never said all that about dynamiting banks and blasting loan companies. Well, that's the difference, man. She means that she could have said it, right? No, no, she couldn't. She's a friend of the earth. Maybe she's what I say. Dig. Sure hooked on you, isn't she? I heard it skiing once, and it goes out on me all the time. Well, my name's Cynthia. Real one? <laughs> yeah, my real one. Well, a very pretty name. Thanks. Cynthia Trickney. <laughs> Want to put your weight on her? Well, no, not particularly. But I will. Oh. Well, cat man meets girl activist. What's an activist? Someone who cares. Someone who cares enough about the world to do something about it. Oh, yeah, that's what you're going to change the world. We had a guy like that inside, well, in prison. Mm -hmm. He was always going to change the world. Well, I guess someone's got to do something about it, haven't they? Well, are you a real, uh, radical? I mean, you know, what they call, uh, hardcore? No. Like, uh, well, you're not one of these, um, weathermen uh, wandering around carrying VC flags. No. But you want to... You want to destroy the structure of our society. No, wait a minute. Let me put it this way. Think of the planet as a spaceship, right? And we're all on it together. Now we've tampered with the works, and it's going to explode. So you want to blow it up before it explodes? No! Who said anything about blowing anything up? Then you're after a quality of life and not a standard of living. Hey, you don't equate the one with the other. That's right. That's right. Do you know something? What? The way you talk. What's the matter with the way I talk? Well, did you read a lot of books or something? <clears throat> I used to work in the prison library. Well, where are you going? I'm going to check it around uh, outside for the man. You coming back? Sure, I guess so. Why? I've never been on the lamb before. I got her. Cynthia. Oh, fantastic. Mr. Howard, he found her. Cynthia. Look, sweetheart, I want you to uh, do a complete rundown on her. Everything. I mean, date of birth, high school graduation, the whole works. But none but facts. I'll do the personality stuff. Mm, I'll bet you will. Let me have that. Paul, remember the girl is her own story. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I know. I, I'm on the run, Mr. Howard. I don't want to lose her. Don't push her. Let her go. Don't lead her. Let her happen. Yes, sir. Hi. 
All right. How's your knee? I haven't felt it yet. It's okay. I knew you'd be back. Yeah, how? You left your loot. Oh, yeah. a lot of money. Yeah. Looks nice, don't it? Mm hmm I like money. It's nice. How much do you think you've got? Three hundred and fifty dollars. Went just like that. You know, it was a it was a tip in the first race, you know, and... Uh, Jack's not open yet. Well, it is in the East, unfortunately. <laughs> you fellas uh, play the ponies, by chance? Look, if that's why you're here, we got our own bookie. No, that's not exactly why I'm here. I'm here about uh, three hundred and fifty dollars. Get out. All right. But you know, there's a little talk out on the street that you gentlemen happen to be looking for a girl by the name of Cynthia... What's her name? Come, Come back. back. <clears throat> All right, where is she? Cash. $350. I'm going to give you a check. And if your information is incorrect, I want to stop payment on it. You understand? I... Understand. Okay. Ocean Park, the ballroom out on the old pier. <laughs> soporific! That's what the world is. Soporific! It's been eating too much lettuce and it's soporific. It's fallen asleep from eating all that lettuce like Peter Rabbit. It's sleepy time, man. Sapo Ripper. Yeah, but we're going to change all that. Yeah, wake him up. You said it. Involvement. Power. Yeah. Hey, you know something? I just thought of something. Where's your gun? No, I never use one. You don't? No. Armed robbery is a very heavy charge. Well, then how do you get the money? You know you ask him out of question. Something about you is bugging me, too. What? You're that girl, aren't you? In the news, on, on TV. Look at Yeah, you are. I knew I saw you before. You, Cynthia. Cynthia something. What is it? Hampton. Hampton? That's it. Cynthia Hampton. You're rich, aren't you? The millionaire's daughter. Hampton uh, Electronics and Hampton uh, Savings and Loan. Hampton everything. Hey, you know something? You could hold me for ransom. How come you did that thing, that demonstration in front of your father's place? Because it's a chemical factory. Water and air pollution. No. You hate them, don't you? That's ridiculous. Yeah, you do. You hate everybody over 30. Oh, come off it. You're phony, all of you. Now that's why we hate everyone over 30. Because you don't understand anything. And you've given us a whole set of values that don't work anymore. Yeah, they work. For some people. Now who's being phony? Why don't you get an education? I mean, you can't afford it. A university! I had an education. Let me tell you about that. It's vapid. Soporific. I look at the world around me and I know that my education didn't equip me to do anything about it. You're lazy. You don't want to study. No, that's not true. Now, just the opposite. Yeah, you want to study something that's easy. Stringing bees and putting up teepees in the park. You're shouting! I'm not! You are! Why do you shout at me? understand you.
plain clothes? Security men. What? From my dad's plant. What do you mean, like cops? Much worse.
It's a one-way street. Well, then, you move it. Well, that's the story of my life. What? Back there, competition block. We're free. It's luck. I got lots of luck. I hope so. We're going to need it. You have, too. I can tell. We have to get rid of this car, you know. Why? Because I got the description of it now. Well, I guess we better steal another one, huh? Well, uh, why steal it when we can buy it? Buy it? Yeah. You're fantastic. You know, you've got this sort of strange life code that's really admirable. I don't know what it is yet, but I'm finding out. Well, I just think that it's more fun to buy things sometimes instead of stealing them. <laughs> Boy, would my dad love you. <laughs> He'd hire you right away and put you in as a vice president. Cat man, huh? You do like your dad, don't you? I was talking about you. Sir, we have Cynthia spotted. Uh huh. Yes, sir, we'll bring her in. Right. And though he try at his birth to sever the tie, for the rest of his days the flight upward inspires. Though he try at his birth to sever the tie, for the rest of his days the flight upward inspires. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, could we buy a used car, please? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> we found one we like. Uh -huh. Usually you guys come running. Yeah, I know. I know. I, I really must keep my mind to it. Earthers! You know it? Yes. Ah, uh, some beautiful things in here. Oh, yeah. Uh, about the car. Oh, yes, you, you said you found one you liked. Good. Good for you. Oh, would you mind if I use your phone? Oh, no, help yourself. Thank you. Pete, hello! Hey, Cynthia, baby, you're late calling. I'm sorry if I worried you. No, no, you didn't worry me. Hey, listen, baby, you're really doing great. You got everybody in town all uptight. <laughs> listen, whatever you're doing, keep running and keep doing whatever you can to get on the boob tube, all right? Because everything helps. Hey, are you okay, Pete? I mean, it's been so long since I saw you. Yeah, yeah, I'm just fine, baby. Listen, I want you to meet me on Santa Monica Pier in a half hour. I got some ideas, okay? Yeah, okay. Sounds pretty good. <laughs> Usually I have to push this one. Do you mind? Huh? Man? Oh. Couldn't resist it. Look. Quicksand by Adele Hampton. Is it a relative? Uh-huh. My mother. She's dead now. That's a very important anthology. Oh, yes, of course. Do you mind? I want to show you. This is this one's my favorite. On the flight of the eagle, with the drift of a cloud, come the promises of men. And this darkness, this shroud. That's lovely. E.G. Chesterman. What? Uh, prison library. Hey, come on, this thing is paid for. Get around here and get in. Oh, yes, and uh, thank you very much. If it gives you any trouble, just uh, bring it back. You know, money refunded cheerfully. <laughs> Right. Sure did a lot of reading in the prison library. Well, I had nothing but time. Oh. I have to go to Santa Monica Pier, okay? Okay.
on personal desire. They get bonuses. Martin, go! What's wrong? It's down on the floor now. This is going to the market car you bought. So forget it. she goes. Members of the establishment, huh? You bet. And they're all sitting ducks for you. Right again? Want to try? No. Nope. I don't believe in war toys. Hey. Hi, Pete. Um, this is Martin. Martin Pete. Hi. He's been a fantastic help to me. Is that right? Yeah, fantastic. Oh, you don't have to worry about him. <laughs> He's not square or anything. No, far from it. Do you want to know what he does? No. Hey, listen to me. When you slug that cop, you give me one big idea. You know what you are. No, tell me. Your stick of dynamite. Yeah, right. My stick of dynamite. I drill a hole in that uh, wall of granite, which is our system. And I put you in it. I light the fuse. Whammo. And I'm gonna keep drilling holes. And I'm gonna keep putting you in, and you're gonna keep exploding. Right? Right? Yeah, right. Now I'm gonna hide you down in Mexico. If I need you, I'm gonna bring you over the border, and you're gonna create an incident. You're gonna be seen, picked up by the media and all that. You know, uh, Hampton's daughter and everything, and put you back down in Mexico. Sounds like a terrific idea. You're Joan of Arc, baby. You're a symbol. Remember that. Richest girl in the world, daughter of America's most powerful industrialist blast industry. How's that? Oh, yeah. Now, the next thing to do is to attack Hampton business machines. Hey, wait a minute. That's a clean building. There's no smog or pollution. That's the point, baby. Uh, they're the symbol of our system. No one bows down to the Statue of Liberty anymore, but they do bow down to the Hampton business machine, don't they? But you don't understand something. All I want to do is to keep the grass green. Don't be a fish, baby. You gotta do it my way, and you gotta attack the root. Now, I want you to take your father's boat, and I want you to go out to Catalina Island. Well, why Catalina? Why don't we just leave from the marina? Because Catalina Island is deserted at this time of the year, baby. And besides, you're 20 miles out at sea. You got a straight shot to Mexico. 
No problem with the Border Patrol. Where are you gonna go now? I have to do some stuff with Eddie. Listen, you meet me at Avalon Bay at Catalina at 5 o'clock, all right? Okay. And get rid of the creep. Hey, come on, Pete. You're giving an awful lot of orders, you know. Baby, the whole world is out there waiting for us to help. They're crying for us. Okay. I'll see you later. No, no, I'm still here. Hey, you're the one. You're the one on TV. Hey, that's the girl. What's her name? That's the one on TV. Hey, don't run, honey. We wouldn't turn you in. Now, where are we going? To the marina. Hey, listen. Huh? Do we have any money left? Because I'm famished. Well, it all went for the car. Not a cent? Nothing. Oh. Well, we're gonna need some money for gas for the boat. Hey, look. What are we worried about? You're a thief, right? Why don't you go rob something? As a matter of fact, I know where there's a liquor store. In the daytime? Oh. Don't you like to do it in the daytime? Check for hundred dollars. You don't have a couple of nickels, huh? No, I don't. I'm sorry. You got any other identification? People magazine, huh? I only carry girly magazines. Well, they're people too. <laughs> I'd like to have it in uh, smaller bills if you could arrange it. And there was one other thing. Could I borrow your pen? I've lived in the islands for a long time, and she assured me that seafood is very sexy. What's she like? She like you? Well, no. Um, yeah. <laughs> she was way ahead of me, actually. I mean, even where I am now. She predicted this traffic jam back in 1953. Oh, you mean, uh, yeah, well, it's happened, all right. Yeah. Well, not exactly the way she had it figured out. She said that on the 4th of July, a car would pull out of a driveway onto the street in Kansas City, and that would be it. I mean, that would be the last car. I don't get it. It would be the last straw, causing this state nationwide traffic jam. Oh, come on. 
She said cars that would be pushed off the Palisades into the Atlantic and the Pacific, and they'd be pushed over the borders into Canada and Mexico. She sounded like quite a dame. She was. She really was. How'd she die? Of a bee sting, of all things, in Guatemala. <laughs> Do you know something? Hey, what's that? Oh, Commando, tell me you wear a peace symbol. <laughs> it's not that, it's not that. I lifted this off the guy in the liquor store. Dang, neat, huh? It's a camera. I thought it was a cigarette lighter. Excuse me a minute, I gotta do a number. Sweetheart, it's called running from the heavens. <laughs> Straight, right? Right. I got everything straight. I'm not doing it, though. What? I'm not bombing Hampton Loan, Hampton Business Machine, or anybody else. Gee, that's beautiful. I'm no militant. I'm no weatherman. I'm not bombing nothing. That's the only way, man. No, it's not. It's not my way. Pete, you got it all twisted around, don't you see? You and Cynthia, you, you started out with a love for mankind, and she still has it. But you, you want to destroy it. No, man, I just want to level it off and start clean. Man, that's no way. People get hurt. Well, that's the way it is, man. That's life. To you. Yeah. You're using her, man. You're using her. You're making her do the dirty work. You, you, you got her to swing for you, and then you conned her. You take her money, and then you call it liberating. You take her boat hey. to... Cynthia loves what Cynthia is doing. Well, we're homed in on Avalon. Automatic pilot. Voila. Come on. Automatic pilot, huh? Yep. And this is the way your father gets in and out every weekend to Catalina, huh? That's right. I hope his insurance is paid up. Hey, um, in the restaurant, um, I noticed that you were on the telephone. 
I had a date for tonight, and I broke it. My life didn't just begin today when I met you, you know. Oh, didn't it now? It was supposed to. Activism in youth is healthy, and I'm all for it. It's just that they don't sit back and accept the world the way we did. You put the blame on your generation. No, and... no, no. There's no blame to be put anywhere. It's just that we made them some promises, and we haven't kept them. Now the kids are mad, and they have every right to be mad. Then you condone your daughter's actions? Yes, yeah, some. Even the uh, high spirits and mischief. <laughs> well, that was your plant, wasn't it, sir? The chemical plant that she was demonstrating against? Yes, and I'm afraid she's right. It is a source of pollution which we're remedying at the moment. Have you heard from her, sir? No. This worries me very much. Cynthia Hampton, daughter of Harvey Hampton, millionaire industrialist, land developer, civic leader, is today wanted by... Nice guy. Yeah. How come he sent those bird dogs after you? Oh, he still thinks I'm a little kid. Oh. No, 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 no. Not in that frail ocean. No more deep six. In there. Hey. Two points? Gosh, yeah. Hey, I'm planning a demonstration, okay? At 2.30 on Labor Day, uh... 2.30 Pacific time, that's, let's see, 5.30 New York time, and um, whatever time it is in London and Paris and Athens and Rome and Hong Kong and Bangkok and Honolulu and Tokyo. At exactly the same moment, everyone's gonna throw a beer can in a trash barrel. The din would be horrendous. Should it? Hey, you better get topside. Where? Outside, up there. Oh, Not two. Okay. Yes, Captain. Thank you. 
She tied off? Yep. Good. Hey, nice going, sailor. Yeah. Hey, it's an hour before Pete gets here. Let's look around. something, don't they? I mean, if you just leave them alone, they go walking around in their own heads finding things. I guess. I mean, like, you're really more of an activist than I am. Yes, you are. Because you get immediate results. Instead of talking about robbing the system, you just go ahead and rob it. It does bother you, doesn't it? Kind of. Hey, I see something you'll like. For you. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Now hold still. Beautiful. Cynthia. Oh, leave me alone. I know what you're going to say. You were going to tell me about it before, right? Ow. I'm sorry. It's not you, it's the knee. A journalist. A dumb, stupid, spying journalist. And I thought... 
Oh, you're absolutely incredible. I've got to meet Pete. Sit still. Pete is exploiting you. He's exploiting you and your money and your father. He's an ex-con. Who says? The police says I checked. He used a word with you at the shooting gallery. He called you a fish. He said, don't be a fish. Now, that's a term that's only used on the inside by convicts. Only. It means somebody who's green, somebody who's dumb. It means a new convict. No! He's got a no. record as long as your arm. From inciting the riot to running dope to border incidents, he's going to take as much as he can take from you and then dump you. Like you, right? Right? You want a story? You just go right ahead and get it any way you can. All the questions you asked me, I should have guessed. And the camera. Yeah, I've been a fish, all right. All right, I conned you. I pretended to be something that I wasn't to get a story. I needed to have a story about what Cynthia Hampton was really like. Oh. That's my job, and I found out. She's bright. She cares, and she hopes. But she's very, very young. And terribly naive and dumber than she's got a right to be. She can't tell the difference between a sick nitwit like Pete and people who really know what they're doing and care how it comes out in the end. You're gonna have to learn the difference between really hearing and just listening. You're a big girl now. You're the one who steals all the money. Sam, it's your father's security guard. Okay. Turn me in. Well, you really don't get it. Don't I? No. How's your knee? It's in, it's out. Why? I'm going to see to it that you get back to Pete. I was never about to stop you. That wasn't the idea. You go ahead, run with him, blow up the world. And do any little thing that he tells you to do. You bet I will. You just bet I will. Well, he said five o'clock. He's right on time. Okay, come on, lean on me. No, thank you.
what are you gonna do? Listen, when I whistle, you come running. Okay. Hey, Paul. Uh, I've read your stuff in People magazine. It's really good. Gentlemen, gentlemen, good afternoon. You may have your girl now if you want her still. I'm, I'm done with her. Well, you were running with her. Yes, indeed I was. I was doing a, uh, a story on her. Now, if you gents will just stand stock still for a moment. I need to get a shot of you with the boat in the background. Yeah, that's perfect. I can just read the name of the boat. Just between you. Hold it right there. Thank you. Now, I'll need first name and middle initial and last. For the photo caption. Now, don't worry about this. I've got a clearance from Mr. Hampton. Moore. Michael Moore. What have you done with the girl? Uh, Al. Albert S. Friendly. F-R-I-D-L. What have you done with the girl? L uh, she's back in the Avalon bar. She's got a bit of a problem. Uh, her knee's gone bad on her. The bartender's taping it up. It's that trick knee again, huh? Yes, that's it. Trick knee. Al, you wait here. Mr. Oh, Friendly, oh, yeah. if I may, I need one more single shot of you. I'd like to get it over this way, please. A little more water in the background oh. if you just move oh, over yeah. in that direction. Yes, that's good. That's fine. Thank you very much. Yes, that's marvelous. I can see all of Avalon now. Now, just a little bit more. I want to get that boat in the background. Can you move this way just a trifle? Be careful now. Be very careful. That's it. That's perfect. Now, if you just hold your head still and just look off in this direction at that little flag over there, perhaps. That's right. Head up just a trifle. That's good. One more and just a second now. Come on. Just hold it right there. No, no, wait a minute. Give me a minute. Come on, will you? Give me a break. Look out. Gotta get this story. Now, what are you crazy? Get out of here. Come on now, please. It'll not take a what minute. Are you some kind I of nothing. No, I photographer was a gas. It's a good story, Paul. Well, I had a good subject. 
And what is the subject's relationship with the police these days? Well, they made up. You see, she paid a little fine and said she was sorry. What is this? A friend of yours said uh, you could win the uh, Pulitzer Prize. Yeah, well, I hope so. 